Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. This is part one of a multi-part series, which will educate you on Click's latest capability in Click Cloud, the Business Glossary. The Click Business Glossary will improve internal communication and eliminate confusion by ensuring that the same business terminology is used across the entire organization. Let me jump right into a simple use case from a Click Cloud business user perspective and then the next video will cover some of the administrative areas and a use case from another user who has been assigned the data steward role. Okay, so the business glossary can be accessed a few ways. Now I'm logged into Click Cloud, I'm in analytic services, I'm in the catalog area, and I'm looking at the do more with Click Space, and I see all the apps available to me. Now you'll see under types, we have a new content type for glossaries. If I choose that, it shows me the glossaries that are available to me. Now, as a business user or a developer, I do not have the steward role assigned to me. I'll cover that in the next video. I can look at existing glossaries as well as add terms to those glossaries that can then be approved later on. So for argument's sake, let's just go into the sales analysis terms. And you can see there are a number of terms defined. I have the ability to filter or search the terms, for example, customer related or revenue, if they've been verified or if they're deprecated or in a draft state by the individuals or the stewards that have prepared them, tags, and then there's also the filter panel. I also can look at the glossary overview, which gives you more information, as well as glossary details. I could define a term template if I had access to do so or just look at the related information to the template. Also, I could export the glossary if I had access to do so. So going back to terms, if I'm just interested in how common language in my business is defining non-buyers, you could hover over non-buyers. You can see a non-buyer is defined as a visitor who has registered with the site but does not have any orders in the system. Now, if I wanted additional information on this, I could open up this term. I can see it's been verified. I can see if there's any related information, other contextual information or resources that I can link out to. I can see that we have the sales analysis app, which is a linked resource to this. In other words, where this information has been defined. I could also link other apps and data to this as a steward. If there are any other related terms in the system that refer to non-buyers, as well as the stewards associated with this term, categories, and any other tags. And you can see other audit information here as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, as a developer, I can create a new term or category. I can give it a name. It will only be in status draft. In other words, it has to be approved for verified um, by a steward. I could put in the definition or any additional contextual information and then set up these areas here. I'm not gonna do that here because I'm gonna show you this as a steward. Now, when you look at a term, you can actually go directly to the app from the term by clicking this button here. So we're gonna go directly to the sales analysis app. And there are my charts and my KPIs and my measures. So now I know how non-buyers are defined and we're using that common language um, in our organization. Now, a nice little tidbit here is, is since we have the ability to add a button to a dashboard and you can assign a certain action to it, what I did is I just took the business glossary link and added it to one of our buttons. So if somebody wants to be able to navigate and understand more descriptive information or context about a particular measure or metric, you can click glossary. In this case here, I named it that, and it goes directly to the glossary for those terms. Okay, so just a quick video showcasing as a user or a non-steward role, how somebody can access the business glossary and the benefit of it. In the next video, I will be an administrator assigning the steward role to this user, and then we'll use this user as a steward to see how we can create a glossary and define terms and link them to certain resources.